Hey, 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 everybody, my name is Splattercat, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of our Project Zomboy playthrough. So, what we had done in the last episode is we had tried to lock down some of the equipment that we had left behind, the shotgun shells, namely at the local Quickie Mart. Unfortunately, it was pretty much overrun. Now, there were some gunshots, some machine gun fire. Now, the machine gun fire seems to do a much better job of swirling around zombies, or maybe there's just a bunch of things going on off-camera that I just don't understand, like in the background of the Java and whatever. But for the time being, we need to find some building supplies because several hordes were located near our home. I know the location of a nearby warehouse, or at least I think I do. Hopefully I don't get lost along the way, but that's where we're going to head in today's mission. We're going to try and get out there to the warehouse. We're going to get our hands on as many things as possible, like hammers, nails, bits of wood, all that fun stuff, and see if we can get ourselves ready to roll. And we've already made some friends here. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but not necessarily an unforeseen consequence of this whole thing front door here is locked and so maybe I'll jump through and go out the back might be a reasonable plan there we go all right so we're out the back I believe I need to find the road so if I don't follow the road I'm losing my number one source well I'm losing my reference point that's really what it comes down to is I'm losing my reference point if I don't follow the road so I'm gonna do my best to do just that oh god you you sneaky zombie you zombie are a winner. Uh, well, not so much anymore. You used to be a winner. Now we killed a zombie. That one's going to go around the back. Hopefully he doesn't run into us. We're going to sneak around the other side of here. We haven't leveled up Sneak. Once again, I would love for Sneak to be more leveled up. It would make me feel better about this overall situation, but unfortunately we've had no such luck thus far putting the XP points into Sneak. It just doesn't seem to be... It's begrudging. I'll put it like that. It's very begrudging with the skill points that I really want. I'm going to try and sneak as much as possible during this episode because I don't want the, what happened in the last episode to kind of snowball on us. Turn this whole thing into a giant running, oh my god, what the, f <laughs> you know, <laughs> WTFS. I almost slipped there, but in any case, i got to get my radio voice on sometimes. I try. I really try not to swear in these videos. At least I, tr I try not to do, like, the major ones that would make your priest flinch, you know what I mean? I try to stick to the, the lesser demons of the profane universe. I believe... This curve is what I was waiting for. I, I think I know where I am. If we take a left right here, we should end up at a warehouse. As far as I know, yes, I've been using a map, but it's the only way to plan these things out and make sure that we have a really nice mission in front of us. Otherwise, I'd just be kind of wandering around and we'd figure it out as we went. So let's take stock of how many zombies we might have down here around this location. Let me see if I can get over the fence without alerting them. I'm at the bare minimum. I'm going to try and look around the corner here. I am worried about zombies being out here in the bushes, kind of hanging out with their NVGs, just chilling, waiting for me to do something stupid so they can eat me. All right, so I think if I go in like this, I'm just kind of thinking about what path I want to take here. If I can weave my way through the trees. Oh God, never mind. Forget the trees, we're out of here. So, there's a warehouse right here. This is the warehouse that we were looking for, welcome. And so, let me see if I can reroute a lot of these zombies, because this is going to be a location with a lot of loot that we want. And so, I need zombies to go the hell away. And those tree zombies, every time, made my heart jump. This game is such an amazing, it does an amazing job at jump scaring me, it really, really does. There are some games out there, like, all those slender games and stuff like that, they don't make me jump at all, like, I just don't care, but... The suspense in this game is just ridiculous because it's random. It's random in nature, and you never know when it's coming down the pipe. So we've got a big group of zombies there. Let's see if we can get these guys all rerouted. I mean, I don't really know what to do with a crowd this large. It's going to be a bit of a pain. Come on, jump the fences, you idiots. Come on. You can do it. There's several of them just sitting over there, like, headbutting each other. And just be like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You know what I mean. So let's... There looks like there's a pretty big parking lot or something right here, like a little dirt field. Maybe consider losing them through this... Oh, it's a church. Have I been here before? I feel like I've been here before. I'm actually going to jimmy the windows here with an ulterior motive of setting off an alarm, possibly. If I could set an alarm off right here, that would be the best possible result. That would make me incredibly happy. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to do that for me. 
bathroom in the back with some extra bath towels. Gonna take those because in the previous episode I mentioned we were gonna go on a Molotov cocktail run pretty soon. See if we get ourselves loaded up with mollies and just throw them all over the place as much as possible. Zombies outside are not gonna be pleased with the fact that I'm in here, but I thought there was like a soup kitchen thing in here. I remember there being like a little soup kitchen type deal in this location, but maybe I'm wrong. So here's the plan. Let me unlock the door really quickly. And then I'm going to make sure all the doors are unlocked. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to go out here. We're going to grab as many of these guys as possible. And we're going to try and get them rerouted just so we can get near the warehouse. So all you guys, come on. Everybody in the house, wave your zombie hands in the air. That's right. Because I know you don't care. You don't have brain cells or anything like that. You've been dead forever. And then God save us. Yeah, go figure. Let me see. I'm just going to continue kind of circling around these guys, seeing what I can do with them. See what kind of mani like manipulation I can do. Seeing in what ways I can stimulate them, basically. I mean, if I had a gun, I would just fire it in front of the location, wait till they all got here, and then run inside. All right, good. And so now we're going to sacrifice the church to the zombie gods. And how we're going to do that is like so. And so then if we're supremely lucky, like if we really hit the luck nail on the head, I should be able to ditch out. We got one left. All things considered, not so bad. One zombie left, not a horrible thing to worry about. Let's see. Oh, we're almost there. No, are we? Oh, we are. Good. So let's put another point in sneaking. We've got three more skill points. Light-footed and nimble. I'm going to take both. We'll take the other light-footed too. I don't really know what light-footed does. I know I said I was going to look it up, but unfortunately, you know things happen. Life happens and then you forget all the promises you make in these little videos and then you come back and people yell at you and send you emails and that's the life of the splatter cat. Let's see here. Did we get everybody? I know we didn't get everybody. Like I know I'm not that lucky. I know for a fact I'm just not that lucky. Unfortunately it doesn't look like we even drew if I had a new weapon I would sit here for a little bit and just kind of beat them to death one by one but alas I didn't bring a very good bat with me. So, we're faced with a decision right now, whether we want to... Let's loot one of these other buildings. I really want to set off a burglar alarm. I think that's probably the easiest way out of this situation, is setting off a burgling alarm. So, an alarm of burgling, if it was a D&D &D item. So, let me bust some windows, kick in some doors, see what kind of mayhem I can cause over here. And if we can set off an alarm, I think that's really going to clear out the warehouse over there, and then we won't have much to worry about. Right now, it's closed quarters and there's no back door to any of those storage units or anything, so I'm very, very nervous about putting myself on the line trying to speed loot over there. I just don't think it's going to work for us. There we go. Windows open. Let's wait and see what the zombies do. Nothing? Well... Worst case scenario, we'll do a little scavenging while we're out and about trying. I mean, there's no reason to leave all these buildings completely full of goodies while we're trying to set off alarms and getting into trouble, so... We may as well fill my water bottle really quickly. Does that go outdoors? Oh, it does. They have a back door. That's nice. That's good. That is pleasant. Throw open some doors and just hope there's no zombies around. I hate walking around these corners. It's just terrifying. Every single time, it's nerve-wracking. Especially with those little closets. Bath towels in there. We don't have enough whiskey at this point to actually need the bath towels. So we'll leave this place open to let us know, to denote that we've already taken care of it, put it in highlighter, and just walk away from it for now. Let me store up everything that doesn't need to be in our duffel for the time being. I'm I'm sincerely hoping. Let's dump out the rest of that whiskey. I don't really think you use whiskey for anything at this point. It hasn't really been worked into the game yet. I'm going to check this trash can right here even though there's a horde right in front of me because I like to live in I like to live Hey, there we go. It paid off. Living in a world of danger and all that. So let me get into this house then maybe. And just one teensy burglar alarm. That's all we need. Didn't bring down any heat on myself right there. So let's sneak on through.
Nothing looking amazingly useful at this location. A little bit of, there we go, some ammunition. We have a pistol, so that might help us out in the long run. A kitchen knife, I'll definitely take that. I'm going to take all the seeds too, because at a certain point, I'm going to need to just kind of consolidate all my seed supplies. Grab all the butter, and then let's move everything into our backpack really quickly. And once it's all in there, it's getting late, so I think we'll probably head back to the house. See if we can get ourselves kind of situated there. Come back with a better weapon. Maybe attempt to clear out the remainder that's sitting over at that location. I I don't know. I, I'm having trouble kind of rectifying how we're going to clear out that warehouse because we do need what's inside of it. God, my cat just jumped up in the window and it casts like this weird shadow across the entire room. I thought there was somebody walking up behind me. Is it weird that I'm, as, I'm paranoid like that? I... God, that's not normal, is it? Just high strung all the time. It's like, ah, it's a robber. As if anybody gets robbed <laughs> where I'm living right now, God. There we go. So that one's down. The best thing that could happen is if one of these guys would actually have a weapon on them at the moment. This nailed baseball bat is not doing it for me anymore. So it looks like we do have a lot of stragglers that I wasn't able to draw off the location. Let's give that one more go while I'm on my way out of town. And just see what kind of success we have with that. And then from there we'll sneak off through the woods over here. I don't know if I pulled anything from this way, so I'm not going to go through the thick part of the woods. I'm going to go through this little thin part right here. Just kind of minimize the amount of time that I spend zipping my way through woody groves and all that fun stuff. Oh dear. So we're going to want to follow the horde right now because they're going to be coming from behind us anyways. We want to make sure that we're behind this group right here. We're going to sneak to the best of our abilities. Although it doesn't appear to have helped us. We have made some friends. Well, one friend in a blue shirt. He's got his sweater on. He's got his Mr. Rogers going down. A couple of dead bodies down here. Things to consider. Was this my fault? Is this a location that I've already, like, looted? Looted and scooted? And polluted with gunfire. I think we might be near Fort Blueberry at the moment. Some semi-building supplies there. That's actually something to take note of. Those planks will be useful to us in the long run. Dead bodies here, and we'll follow our way back to our home. And then we'll kind of sit and discuss for a moment how we want to clear off that warehouse. Because as of yet, I'm not finding any real tangible solutions. Anything we can really wrap our hands around that's going to take care of business on that front. So I just need to kind of sit and ponder for just a minute and figure out what I want to do. Oh, this place is annihilated. What happened here? Well, we're right next door to our house. So let's take a look here and see what's going on. I don't think I really left anything lootable here. Most of what was left behind, I believe, was rotten. I don't think there was weapons or anything here either. These planks might be useful, though, so I'll take those. Planks. Let me loot you. Oh, they're on the ground. There we go. So we'll grab a plank. We'll throw that, you know, we'll throw that in our building supplies because we are going to need that. I mean, that's what we're looking for another axe for. If we don't find one in this episode, I may make a zip back to our other... Oh, no. Okay, so we have a huge horde right next to our home. What we want to consider in this situation is that you don't want to alert them at all because escape is not an option. You have no exit strategy if you wake up that horde. What we want to do is we want to move very quietly through the front door. Now, if they were in front of the front door, we would want to find a side window and we would want to jimmy that open because that would really be our only hope. Because we are upstairs, we could jump through a window after alerting them, but the entire lower floor of the house would be full of zombies, so it's still not a situation that I find to be a pleasant one. It's not. It's just all in all just a horrible time for yourself. You're creating a nasty situation that you're going to have to deal with personally. And so in lieu of causing a giant machine gun battle in the downstairs location of my own home, I'm actually just going to avoid that. We don't need to put bullets in the fridge. That doesn't work. Bullets don't get better when you put them in the fridge. Let's put the ice cream in there. The seed packets and things, I don't really know where I'm going to put all that at, but we are going to throw the bottle in there. We've got an extra water bottle. Very cool. We'll throw that in there. We've got our chips for the day for tomorrow. We've got planks, things like that. Did I close this door over here? Okay, good. I'm always paranoid about that kind of stuff. Did I close that door? Like, I do that in my house, too. I'm like, did I lock the front door? And you can't remember, and you lay there in bed for like 25 minutes. 
And you're like, you know what? I could, ju I should just get up and check. But you know that if you get up and check, you're like feeding the habit. You're feeding your own paranoia. You know what I mean? I just bumped the mic right there because I actually have hand motions while I'm talking to you guys. I get animated. Like my hands move around. Like I take them off the mic. Things like that. Just kind of different things. And I just bumped the mic. And that's a side effect of that animation. Let's retire to our... Let's go our, to our powdering room, I guess. Or whatever ladies call their bedrooms. It's probably just bedrooms. Classy ladies, though. Like, ladies from the 1800s is what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's a, the boudoir. I don't really know if that's the right word. It's probably not. The boudoir is probably where... It's probably like a whorehouse or something. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's grab a baseball bat out of here. We'll put the busted bat in there just in case. I mean, I don't really see us using it. But we need a different weapon anyways. So we'll throw the nail bat in there. The other baseball bat is in that inventory. We need a weapon, though. We definitely need a weapon. So let's equip that as a primary. What is weighing us down right now? I feel like I'm being weighed down by planks or something, but did I put the planks in here? I did. Okay, good. So the planks, later on, we're going to board up this building. That's really... We're, we really, really, really want to have this building completely boarded up so that things can't get through the windows easily. They're going to have to sit there for like a day or two just to make it through the windows. We're a little hungry. I'm going to wait till morning to eat, though. Let me go up to the next level of tiredness. And then we'll sleep for the night. We need to be very careful when we exit here, though, in the morning. Just make sure that we don't have a nasty little grouping of our zombie friends there. Okay. So we woke up a little early, which is like my bane. I hate getting up early. But our character is trying to be an early bird, I guess. You would always think, though, people be like, the early bird gets the worm. Yeah, but the first mouse, man, the first mouse gets the trap. So the metaphor doesn't work, like, across all animal breeds there. Across all species, that is not quite the useful, not quite the useful saying that you would expect it to be. Like, you definitely, being the early bird might work out perfectly fine, but being the early mouse or the early rat, mm, probably not going to be a good day for you if you're early in either of those species. You want to be the second rat. You want to be the one that gets there right after the first rat gets there. And just be like, sorry, bud, while he's sitting there gasping and wheezing, be like, I'm taking the cheese, dude. You're already toast anyways. It is what it is. Now let's go back to the where... Hmm. Zombies. Why can't you just let me have this? Why, why can't you let me have this? All I want to do is be happy and have a fire axe. Maybe some nails and some boards, and they just won't let me have it. Oh my. Looks like they're wandering once again. Towards what source? I'm not really sure. I'm going to remain sneaking, though. And as soon as this torrent of undead greenitude... variable cavalcade of verdigree goes by we should be able to continue our journey like zombie herd I wonder what that was I didn't hear anything but then again I have this thing with my ear right now I've actually like gone deaf in one of my ears at the moment I don't know what it is but it's been it hasn't been a good if you've been paying attention to my health reports here it has not been a good month for me it's just like things falling apart on me left and right. First I had that infection in my throat, and then like my ear stopped working randomly, and now I'm like on all kinds of antihistamines for that, trying to make my ear work again. It's like, God, what else could go wrong? Fucking, <laughs> I broke my finger. Like, what else could go wrong this month? And I say that, I'm going to touch wood really quickly. There we go, I touched wood. So we're all good to go there. I don't want to tempt fate. I mean, Murphy's Law and all that. The month is pretty bad, but I know the moment you're always like, what could go wrong? It's always going to get worse. So let's walk very carefully through this neighborhood and just really, really hope that whatever drew those zombies off did not draw the big crowd that was over here back to the warehouse. And if it did, I'm going to cry. I'm just going to weep because my character is female, and females get they get brownie points for crying. Like They get out of tickets. They like get more presents and stuff when they cry. I don't know. I wish I, I wish I had that. I, I kind of consider like in World of Warcraft, like every race has like their thing. I consider that like a sexual power. Is just like the the tears of females, just such a great ability, such a great ability. And it looks like we were in good faith here, so I think we might be able to loot this location. I'm still gonna be very careful as we go through. I don't really want to bust a window out, but we may have to. Let's check and see what's in the surrounding area before we go ahead with such a desperate tactic, though.
All right, so I think we might be good. Maybe. Nails and a flashlight. I'll take the nails. The flashlight's on the shelf there. Does this rack have anything on it? There's like a little wheelie rack here in the corner. Can I open these? Well, then how do we get in there? Oh, maybe we chop it down with like an axe or something. Always a sensible decision. Let's have a look around for a window. I think the neighborhood's been cleared out, so this was a very good result for us. Oh yeah, the neighborhood's like dead. There ain't nobody here. Hopefully in the future they'll have like random keys that you can find at different locations. Like they'll randomize like the key to all these things would be in like one spot so that I could get into the building and open up all the shutters or something. I think that'd be kind of a cool variable thing. Is like it would have to spawn within a one block radius like in one of the houses or something. Let's check back windows first and foremost because there's a fence back here. So if we make noise anything over there is not going to be able to come along. I think we can get in through right here. Maybe. I don't know if these windows right here will actually open. We're going to try it out though. grease him really quickly because he's being a squeaky wheel that was another thing that I never liked because getting greased in the US the phrase getting greased means that you've been murdered or like somebody's put out a hit on you and so like people would be like the squeaky wheel gets the grease and I always like to say the squeaky wheel gets greased I always thought that was funnier we might have problems Well, that's not going to stop me, though. Let's loot everything we can while we're here. If anything comes in through a window, hey, a shotgun, we will definitely take that. Let me throw all this stuff in the backpack so that we don't get overburdened nice and early before we can actually loot the location. I might centralize it all in, like, a crate in the middle. I think they're in... I don't think the zombies are actually near us. I think they're on the other side of the fence. I'm not positive, though. Don't quote me on it. This could become quite a situation. So we've got some more shells there. purple paint none of these are the what I came for though like if we walk out of here with one thing this episode it's got to be an axe or a hammer oh there they are okay lots of shotgun shells crowbars things of that nature all in all a pretty lucrative location to be honest I there's a lot of stuff here that we could use but unfortunately, without a hammer, it all goes to waste. Oh, they got in. As far as I know, though, they should be stuck behind the crates. That window doesn't actually look accessible by any means. I'm going to be very, very careful, though, because buggy things do happen in this game on a case. Hey, an axe. There we go. I'll take that. Bare minimum, I'll take that. And I do want that door to be open so I don't have to sneak through any more windows as we go along. But let's go ahead and backpack the axe. I would love to find a hammer though. The hammer is really kind of the prize trophy we're looking for in this situation. Save me a little bit of a run back to our other camped out location. Lots of nails and things. That'll be nice. A sledge. Unfortunately, I don't have... The problem with the sledgehammer is I think you have to have the strong trait in order to use it. Fill my water bottle from there. Where does this door go to? Just like a little bathroom type deal. Okay. Somebody's shaving at work. You gotta do that stuff at home. Not on my clock, boy. Anyways. This place was actually kind of a bust for us. I mean, we have a reasonable location with a lot of stuff that we need. But given the way the whole thing has played out, I might still have to make a giant run back. This was a huge warehouse, and it came up bust for what we actually wanted. The door is unlocked, so that's something to bear in mind. We'll leave the back window open as well, so that if I had to come back to this location in the future, I don't have to stress about it too much. And then we're just going to get up out of here. Maybe I'll try and destroy these shutters before we leave. 
with the axe and see if maybe that's something that's going to be valuable or rewarding. There we go. So now we've got the fire axe. Maybe I could chop these doors down. It's going to make a lot of noise. So anything that's in the area is probably going to come running very, very quickly. We may have just enough time to break the door down and then run off, kind of come back later. Or maybe not. Maybe we have to use the sledgehammer to do this. I don't hear the thunking noise that you usually get when like something's taking damage. We do have the fire axe on this door, though. If you're wondering why I'm being so quiet, it's just because I'm listening to see if we hear any zombies. I'm really quite terrified that zombies are going to show up and just rain on our parade. It makes a lot of noise when you're breaking down a door. And so if I was just kind of lovingly chatting my way through that situation, I really don't want to go inside until I know whether zombies are going to show up. Nothing jumping out at me here. I guess it's just like little storage closets or something. A saw, we'll take that. I'll definitely take the saw. That's going to be useful. Having two sets of saws is probably going to help us in the long run. A flashlight and some paint. Well, if we ever need to paint our house, we're in good shape. Nothing in that final locker. This one right here, maybe we'll get lucky. Nope, no such luck. All right, then. Well, all things to think about. We did our best in this episode. We really did. We threw down and we tried to find ourselves some of the supplies that we needed. But when you come up bust, you come up bust. It is what it is. That's part of the game. That is part of Project Zomboid's, Zomboid's allure. Is that you don't always get what you want. Some games just give it to you. Some games, they make you work for it. So let's grab, I guess, maybe take some of these planks off the ground. That might be useful. I don't know. I don't know if we can carry them all, but we can take one and see if maybe we can pocket one plank to take back with us to our house. I mean, every plank that we had makes our lives a little bit easier. Less wood that we have to chop in any case. Alrighty, so let's get on out of here. I'll keep the warehouse in mind. We do need to loot the warehouse. Looting the warehouse is probably a pretty good plan. Oh no. Oh, I put it... Yikes. Me. Equip a baseball bat or something really quickly. There we go. Maybe we'll find a hammer on a zombie. I've heard that hammers can drop on zombies. People have said it's actually pretty useful to wipe out an entire horde of zombies and just kind of go through and see what loot you get. Unfortunately, you... I personally have never been able to carry enough ammunition to actually kill off an entire herd. So... Down he goes, and a blouse, some pants, and some shoes, but no hammer. This is my hammer. I'm going to sneak around the back of these gents right here, maybe go around the building. I don't think we've looted this spot or anything of that type, so... Oh my. So let's go around this way. We'll lose them through the trees, maybe. Foliage. What aren't you good for? And then we'll get back to sneaking. I haven't heard us level up in a little bit. We leveled up on our way out earlier today, but all, this has been a good run for us. It's tough to, it's, it's hard to assign an actual, like, victory type deal to this whole thing because I, we didn't get a hammer, but we did get an axe, we got a saw, we got all kinds of good stuff. But I just can't give it the stamp of approval because I don't feel like we got what we wanted. But we will. We will persevere, and it looks like we're about out of time, so maybe next time we'll find ourselves a hammer. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Project Zomboid. I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope you've been having a little bit of fun. I know I've been a little less goofy in the last two episodes, but that's because I am falling apart. Like, in real life, I am just not healthy. My health is nasty. Things are not going our way in-game. So hopefully, hopefully I will get my groove back so I can be like Oprah. I'm not Oprah. So I can be like... <laughs> God, Whoopi Goldberg, and get my groove back. God, that was terrible. Let's go back to our house, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody.